You found the G-spot. I'm screwed with Martin Sargent's next. <laughs> Oh, hi! Happy holidays, everyone! Martin Sargent here. You know, this season, I really want to do it right. That's why I'm planning on having an old world Christmas. And I've come up to the high country to chop down my own Christmas tree. You want to come? Cool! Come on, let's go. Old world Christmas. Old world Christmas. Old world Christmas. Oh, there's some trees. Ugh. It's getting cold. <laughs> Should have dressed a little more warm. Uh, uh, help! Help me! Anyone? Uh, uh, very cold. I got. I gotta build a shelter. Oh, God. So cold. Uh, I hate old world Christmas. <laughs> Wish I was back in my studio having a Christmas party. I want to be in my studio at a Christmas party. I'm so tired. Christmas party. Go. Just take a little nap. Rest. I'm Martin Sargent. Clearly, I'm the guy. Duh. Yeah, I'm pretty much the man. Get with it. Yo, what's up? That's rad, man. What's up? I've never seen anything like that. Blingo. Blingo? I'm screwed. <laughs> Welcome to the unscrewed holiday extravaganza with special guests Alex Chu, Tom Nardone, the 12th Girls of Christmas, the Dancing Elves, and the Sexy Snow Bunnies. And now, your hosts, Miss Laura Swisher and Martin Sargent. Old World Christmas, Old World Christmas, Happy Holidays, everybody, and welcome to Unscrewed. <laughs> This is the show whose heart just grew three sizes and broke out of its little wire box. And I hope you all feel as much love and warmth as I do right now. Do you? Yeah! All right. In fact, I'm feeling so joyous. I'd like to present a holiday gift to all you out there in TV land. I give you my merry co-host, Miss Laura Swisher, everyone. You give me? I give you. This, this is my holiday fantasy. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm freezing to death in the woods right now. I can do I whatever forgot I, I was choose. in your dream. Forgive me. <laughs> Laura, this is so great. I'm so happy to have you and everyone else here with us. Aren't you just smitten with the spirit of the season right now? Smitten. Uh, look, we have so much going on. We have dancing elves over there. Elves? Hey, can you guys do a little dance? Yay! Yeah! Yeah! It's all so festive. Not only that, but we've got some really hot snow bunnies who are going to be bringing me drinks throughout the show. Ladies, Woo! where are my snow bunnies? That's right. Thank you so much. Uh, old World Christmas! Everyone right there. All right, we'll see you guys later. Thanks a lot. Bye, guys. Uh, this is great. So, Laura, what's your dream for the holiday season? My dream has already partially come true with the snow bunnies and the alcohol and everything. Well, I think my dream would probably be to, um, to kill a deer with a single-shot rifle. Yeah. Really? That's, that's really violent of you, Laura. In fact, speaking of violence, I wish you'd stop shaking that snow globe. What the hell are you doing? Why? It's so pretty. That was your place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I understand that, but, you know, I found this website last night, and I just, I, I've been haunted by it. I, I can't get it out of my head. Check this out. See these, these, this snow globe here with all these little cute elves so going cute. about their business, doing little holiday chores and all? Yeah. And then you grab it, and you shake it, and it's like... It's like an earthquake or something, or like, you know, some kind of biblical tempest being visited upon them, so, you know, I, 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 no, it, it hurt the little... Do it again! All right, it is kind of funny. <laughs> Pretty funny to see all those elves getting a, a good rogering in this. Seriously, uh, put, could you put the snow globe down? I don't want to hurt anyone. Anyway, uh, we're glad that you could come inside our little world, our little unscrewed snow globe, if you will. That's what I like to call it, because we have a truly wondrous show for you tonight. It's a show that's hotter than a reindeer in heat. If you're like me, you, you, you haven't finished your holiday shopping yet. I've been bad and lazy. Well, that's okay, because Tom Nardone from ShoppingPrivate.com is here with a, a sampling of the stocking stuffers you really want, but have too much self-respect to ask for. Such as, uh, such as something called Liquid Virgin. That's right, make it feel like the first time every time. 
Plus, uh, Dark Pepper Kevin Rowe is going to show off an explosive way to dress your Christmas tree or, or even your neighbor's tree. Not only that, we're going to bring you the 12 girls gone wired of Christmas. Each one hotter and more scantily clad than the next. Yeah, look at that. And believe me, people, that just scratches the surface of the icy pond. We're going to have an all-out party tonight, and when it's over, I think the holiday spirit will be alive and singing in all of our hearts. Oh. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thanks, pal. Hey, speaking of holiday spirit, nothing, but nothing puts me in the mood like a day spent sledding. Rushing headlong down the wintry slope, it literally fills me with spasms of holiday glee. But you know, uh, today's modern sleds are a far cry from those of yesteryear, and to prove it, I took two of the most high-tech sleds on the market up to the high country for a test spin. Here's how it went. It was the invention of molded plastics that gives us the ultra-high-tech sleds that we ride around in today, like the saucer or the super space-age bullet train. And now for your viewing pleasure, I'm going to show you what a hot-ass thrill ride sliding down on one of today's modern sleds can be. First up, the saucer. Jesus Christ! Ah! 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 Next up, the bullet train. Oh, God. Oh, God. And because we here at Unscrewed are always pushing the high-tech envelope, I had my intern, Joey, invent a sled the likes of which the world has never seen. I call it the diaper sled. This better work, Joey. Yeah. Uh, go! Go! Uh, 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 Joey! You little... suck! Wow. You know, I gotta say, today's high-tech sleds kind of suck. Yeah, I miss the ones with the runners. You know, the risk of decapitation adds so much to the thrill of sledding. Not just this terrible raspberry I got on my ass from Joey's diaper sled. Anyway, if you're not filled with spasms of holiday glee, stick around. We'll see if liquid virgin is something you ought to add to your holiday wish shopping list. Tom Nardone is here to show us this year's most outrageous stocking stuffers just ahead. Don't go anywhere. All the world's Christmas next. Every year you get those Christmas letters from people telling you how great their year's been. Well, Laura Switcher is one of those thoughtful people. Yeah, you know, well, a lot of exciting things happened to me this year, and I, you know, I just wanted to share it with my family and friends, so, uh, so I made a video Christmas letter. Hmm. All right, well, you're watching that. <laughs> I'm going to have the snow bunnies bring me another drink. Ladies, come on out. <laughs> and family and everyone else who doubted me, Mom, <laughs> I'm giving you an electronic video holiday card. I'm on, a, uh, I'm on my own show, I'm very famous now. It's uh, called Unscrewed with me. It deals a lot with um, internet stuff, internet culture and like computers and technology and just all that shit. But it's great because it's educational. Kevin here is going to show you how to mod your PlayStation no, so no, no. it can shoot re laser no, beams out your ass. That's not what? today. That's not today. And I'm proud of the work that I do as a journalist. As a, as a feminist, I'm, I'm extremely proud of our coverage of women in technology. Here we go. My editors are having a fit right now. <laughs> but I have a co-host, too. His name's Martin something. I'm high as a kite, like Huckleberry Hound. <coughs> I gotta say goodbye, it's about that. I've got work to do. But before I go, I just wanna say to all the uh, Christians out there, and uh, Muslims, and Scientologists, the time to stop the violence is 11.30 p.m. Eastern Central Time. Millions have experienced the adventure. Now it's time for you to join the quest. Millions have experienced the legend. Now it is time for you to join the quest.
Behold the future of online gaming. EverQuest 2, where adventure comes alive. Rated T for Teen. Not bad, guys. Not bad. But it looks like last year's model. Have you got any that do more than just make phone calls? Send in the new guys! Here you go, Pops. Video phone. Video and picture messaging? This is brilliant. What's the little orange thing? That's our logo. Looks like the singular logo to me. What a coincidence. This holiday season at Singular, get a great deal on a cool video phone. Capture, save, and send video. The new Singular, raising the bar. The critics agree. Metal Gear Solid 3 is a hit. Five out of five from official PlayStation magazine. Five out of five from GamePro magazine. 10 out of 10 and Game of the Year from PSM magazine. Snake is back. Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Rated M for Mature. From Konami. I can't get this pressure going out of my head. All of this pressure, my mind's on the road. Pressure, 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 Challenge you. It will consume you. Mortal Kombat Deception. Online for PlayStation 2 and Xbox. Rated mature. Sylvia team up to fight evil as they battle through Hollywood Movie World. Beautiful Joe 2, rated T for Teen, only from Capcom. Catch all new episodes of Last Exile, coming up next, only on Anime Unleashed. So what do you want for Christmas, little girl? Yeah. Oh, hi. Welcome back to Unscrewed. I'm ladies. I got a show to do, all right? Backstage later? Cool. All right, see you later. Old World Christmas. <laughs> so how many Christmas pass have you sat by the old Tannenbaum holding back the tears because you didn't get what you really wanted from that old fat Saint Nick, huh? Well, this year, this year Unscrewed's got your back, kid. Here to show you how to get the gifts you've always wanted but were too embarrassed to ask for, here's Tom Nargone from Shop in Private. Shop. Happy holidays, Tom. Welcome to my extravaganza. Great, I have it here. I got my hat on. You do. You look wonderful. You look very festive. Are you, are you filled with the, with the Christmas holiday spirit? I am filled with spirit of the holidays. <laughs> I'm, I'm filled with spirits of some sort or another. I don't know what this green stuff is, though. Snowbody's being paid me, but it's doing the trick. First, <laughs> first off, uh, Tell us about this shopinprivate.com. Sure. Do? It's a business. We've been in business a little over five years, and we sell things that are embarrassing to buy at the store. So you can go on the internet and shop in private for whatever it is that you desire. <laughs> and you kind of like anything you buy on the internet, actually. It's yeah, kind of private. Kind of anything, and we're very private about it. All right, so, uh, so when people do buy things from you, they, they, they come in like the brown paper unmarked yep. bag and all and that sort of thing. And then they never get an email from us. We don't email market. We also don't send catalogs. We just send the box that you ordered, and that's it. All right, and all the records are encrypted and all that, I hope. Absolutely. Everything's all right, so kept in the strictest. What, <laughs> what are some of the, the holiday gift ideas that you brought for us today? Sure. Well, I know everybody does the top ten great Christmas gifts, which are never that great, so we do the worst Christmas gifts. Ah. So we brought some that I think are worth talking about. And the first one is called Liquid Virgin. <laughs> now, now, when I was in college, Liquid Virgin was getting a freshman drunk. And, uh, <laughs> but, the, <laughs> but that's not what this is, is it? No. 
No, this is uh, an alum-based product, like you see Tom and Jerry cartoons where they put alum in the mouth and it... It, and it puckers them all up, know? yeah. This is uh, a vaginal lubricant that includes that in it. So, so it sort of shrinks the... <laughs> yeah, temporarily, temporarily. The vaginal passageway, we should call it. Yeah. And does it really work? They say it does. You know, so many times I've had to wear Speedos on this show. <laughs> I really wish I had the bulge. Tom? We'll leave that with you then, Marty. <laughs> so I think this is pretty self-explanatory. Basically, uh, you put this in your pants. Yeah. And, uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's still, you know, even though I'm wearing the bulge, it's still not all that impressive, Tom. <laughs> Maybe, you know what? Maybe if you took off your pants so we could actually see it, because they're kind of baggy, Martin. <laughs> ladies in the audience Here you go. Laura, Laura, would probably appreciate it if you did now, it. Now, if you saw a guy wearing that in, in, in his, his briefs, do you think that you would be able to tell the difference? Is that if it was real or fake? I'd have to feel it. I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, maybe we get some audience members to help that test. <laughs> and finally, we got, I think we got a theme here, you know, the, the, the tongue scraper this oh, is. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, if, if the person is well-groomed down there, you might not need this to get the hairs off, but this is the tongue scraper. Yeah. No, no, that's not, oh, what, that's it's not what it's for. No, no. This is product actually works very well. It's for curing bad breath. Bacteria okay. grows on the back of your tongue, and this is used to scrape it off. Well, let's, Great stocking let's give it a yeah. nice, terrible gift. <laughs> Great yeah, you give this to somebody that's really giving them the wrong way. So I just, yeah. do, do I hold it like this? Uh, the sharp end goes on your tongue. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Go. oh, I, like a pine tree forest. No, it's <laughs> old world Christmas. Old world. Wow, there is a lot that, of crap on my yeah. tongue. Ah. That really smells like pure funk. Well, hopefully. <laughs> Tom, thank you very much for coming. Thanks for having me. Well, I, I hope that these Christmas gifts are going to be a great start to a how jolly holiday for all you people out there. And if you want more info on the Liquid Virgin or anything else, just log on to techtv.com slash unscrewed or go to shopinprivate.com. Great job, man. Thanks so much Thank for being you. here. And anyone want this? I'm going to sell this on eBay. I'm selling this on eBay. All right, coming up after the break, we got the Dark Tipper here. He's going to show you how to decorate your tree from about 50 yards away using a cannon. Look at that. And get set to heat up your holiday hearth with a look at tonight's 12 Girls Gone Wired at Christmas. That's just one of them, so you better stick around. We got 11 more, and they are hot. Come back, everyone. No enemy has ever withstood our might. I need a weapon. Rated M for Mature. Decide your destiny. A life of virtue or villainy is up to you. Fable. For every choice, a consequence. Rated mature. Oh boy. The holidays are busy. I can never get everything done. But my brother Chris, he was born ready. Heck, he was walking at three months. Me? I prefer the thrill of last-minute shopping. Hi, I need some stuff quick. Sure. For my wife, my uncle, three cousins, and some elves. All right. There's only one Kris Kringle. For the rest of us, there's Best Buy. You'll never forget the people you hurt when you were high. Panasonic introduces high-definition plasma TV with the most beautiful picture in the world. Yours. The most beautiful picture. I'm pretty sure it's mine. Just snap and share your pictures instantly with built-in photo viewer. It's a whole new generation of high-definition plasma TV from Panasonic. Call for your free HD plasma guide now. Panasonic. Ideas for life. Tony Hawk's Underground 2. GameSpy calls it the best game in the Tony Hawk line. And for 
freaking awesome. Tony Hawk's Underground 2 rated team. What are your dreams? Do they include playing video games? Or making video games? Or both? Stop dreaming. Pick up the phone, call Collins College, and start a career doing what you love in the new game design program. Call 1-888-256-1200 now. That's 1-888-256-1200. Worms and germs can attack your computer. Something's wrong with your computer, and you've tried everything. Try this. One quick click. Velos will keep your entire system virus-free, safe, and secure. With Velos, to make it faster than the day you got it. Visit Velos.com. And make it quick. If you even think you're slowing down, get a free virus scan at Velos.com and make it fast. All new episodes of Last Exile started in December! Ah! Catch all new episodes of Last Exile. Coming up next, only on Anime Unleashed. Hey, welcome back, everyone. You know, nothing puts me in the holiday spirit like being high on straight Midori and gazing at some gratuitous P&A. So without further ado, let's check out 12 of Santa's hottest little helpers, or as I like to call them, the 12 Girls Gone Wired of Christmas. Ah, the 12 girls of Christmas. It reminds me of when I was a boy and coming of age in Latvia. You see, according to Latvian tradition, Father Christmas brings presents on each of the 12 days of Christmas, starting on Christmas Eve. These 12 days were the happiest of the entire year for me back then, but not before my Uncle Brazini gave me a Hustler magazine as a holiday gift. Ever since, I've equated holiday happiness and warmth with pornography. <laughs> Anyway, for uh, more pictures of naked holiday hotties, visit us at techtv.com slash unscrewed. Old world Christmas. I'm all heated up now, so, uh, yo, Laura, what the, what's the D-tip going to bring me for Christmas this year? Well, Martin, I'll tell you. See, Christmas is the one time of year where you should get together with friends and family and spend enough time with them so that you get really annoyed and you have to blow some steam off by blowing stuff up. And that's, that's where the D-tips comes in. That's right. Yeah. This is... This is the Christmas cannon. Is this and, some crazy uh, sex toy or something? Uh, no, no, it is not. Okay. Although Marty did get a little excited when he saw it at first. But uh, <laughs> uh, check this out. We got a chance to test it out earlier. Uh, go ahead and roll that. It's that time of year again. That time of year when Grandma sends you some nasty ass fruitcake. I don't like fruitcake and I want to get rid of it. So we've decided to create what we like to call our Christmas cannon. Now this thing here is powered by alcohol and a stun gun, and it's gonna launch our fruitcake, or anything else for that matter, about two, three hundred yards in that direction. Let me show you how it works. Basically all we do here is we unscrew the end, and we spray a little bit of uh, liquid alcohol right in the end here, and what, once that happens, it's gonna vaporize and fill up the pipe with those vapors. Then what we do is just take the stun gun, squeeze the trigger, and it's gonna fire sparks right inside, shooting the fruitcake, or anything else for that matter, a few hundred yards in that direction. Let's give it a try. All right, that looks fantastic. But, uh, detail, I have to ask, is, uh, is this legal? Yeah, it's, it's legal, actually. Uh, they, they don't uh, consider this a weapon, and it is legal to build something like this, as long as you don't put, like, rocks or marbles or, you know, objects like that in there. But can, we, uh, can we try it out in the studio? Do you, you want, should we try it out can in the we, studio? Can we do it? Yeah. Because, uh, All right. Let's All right. All right. So walk me through this. What okay. do I need to do? First thing you have to be careful of, you got to remember this is a 100,000 volt stun gun, so you're not going to want to touch any metal. Okay. Okay, so go ahead and flip Very that carefully. down. Switch okay, it switch it on. on. Okay, there you go. Okay, now go ahead and hit the switch and let's fire it right Not over. touching metal. Not touching metal, go ahead. Are you even aiming at the tree? Uh, it kind of <laughs> at Marty, but go ahead. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. That's a... Uh, what's going on over there? Jesus. That's insane. So, uh, Marty, if your house gets toilet paper, remember, it's not, I didn't have anything to do with it. He just screamed yeah. to death. I wasn't even paying attention. I was playing with the snowboard. He's all of a sudden shot me. God. We, have, we have all the instructions at the website, of course, if you want to build your own Christmas cannon. TechTV.com slash unscrewed. Thanks a lot, guys. Whatever you, uh, 
<laughs> okay, you snow bunnies all right? Okay, my precious girl, sorry. <laughs> Coming up, we have a very special secret holiday treat. One hint, it involves me singing with some secret special holiday friends. All right, let's see those elves again. Come on, guys. Old World Christmas. <laughs> At Gamefly, rent the hottest titles for Xbox, PS2, GameCube, and GBA. Games like Halo 2 and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. No due dates, no late fees, free delivery. Go to Gamefly.com for your free trial. Gamefly, the smartest way to rent games. One look is all it takes. The Samsung LCD television with picture-enhancing DNIE technology. It's hard to take your eyes off it. Experience the power within. Samsung. Whatever you're looking for in the 200 horsepower Acura TSX with available satellite navigation. We thought they'd never find us. We were wrong. No enemy has ever withstood our might. I need a weapon. There are all those who said this day would never come. What are they to say now? Rated M for Mature. Check this out. This is what we do for a living. We're software developers. With the online program from Westwood, you can train from home to design, code, and test games like this. And this. Can you believe that we get paid for playing games? Westwood College now offers training online for video game careers. For a brochure, call 888-636-0077. That's 636-0077. Call now. What a perfect evening. Don't you think you It's been magical, Marty. You know, there's only one thing that would make this night even better. Better? What's that? Why, a little holiday sing-along, of course. <clears throat> Come, they told me, pa rum pa pom pom A newborn king to see, pa rum pa pom pom Our finest gifts we bring, pa rum pa pom pom Alex, two ladies and gentlemen. Two. Christmas ever, but at the same time, it's kind of bumming me out. I think that we all need a song that's a little bit more cheerful, a little bit more merry, a little bit more gay. Ready? And one, two, a one, two, three. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, hey, everyone. It's members of the San Francisco Game Rights Chorus. That was a nice nap. I feel a lot better. Let's go back to the car.